What would you sacrifice for fame, freedom, sex, money? How's it feel to be back before a, a Chicago audience on stage? Theater? It feels amazing. Um, Broadway in Chicago is phenomenal. Folks here love theater, and it's so good to, to get on the stage here. Let me talk to you just a little bit, Michelle, about uh, creating a brand new piece here, being in the world premiere. Yeah. That's got to be exciting. I'm so excited, especially originating a role. Um, a lot of the other Broadway musicals that I've done have already been put on its feet. You're from Rockford. Were you a theater kid? I am from Rockford. I was a theater kid from the church musicals to auditioning for plays and musicals in school. They never cast me for those parts. And I was like, it's okay. And then one day in 2003, I made my Broadway debut. Wow. So sometimes rejection is amazing. Rejection is protection or it's redirection for something better. On a show like this, you're gonna get that stillness and hush of a theater crowd versus that people with their phones up or it's like, yeah. So that's that that that's a transition that I get that I have to get used to. Like, okay, you ain't at church, you ain't at a concert. So the audience is they're taking it in, they love what you're doing, but you're not gonna get, you know, the people up on their feet swaying from side to side. How are you feeling right now about life? Mm -hmm. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling so good. I'm in a place of my career where I'm doing what I want to do, not what's expected of me. I want to be here. I have a secret you would die for. Jose Sanders, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Wow. So Death Becomes Her is at the Cadillac Palace Theater only through June 2nd. That is when the show heads to New York to open on Broadway this fall. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.